and welcome back to Tech Tuesday. Okay, I got another quick one, but another good one too. So I was getting ready to start this painting and it hit me how I can kind of, kind of come up with these paintings sometimes and I thought I'd share it with you because it's a great way to help you if you have any kind of creative block. So one of the ways that paintings kind of come about for me, they're usually either inspired by something or I'll see something and it'll like spark something, even like just a color or a topic or something like that. But sometimes it just doesn't come to you. You know, you're left looking at a blank canvas and you're like, what do I put on this? So juried shows are a great way to be inspired. Different galleries like this one here, the Manifest Gallery, for instance, has a number of different shows each year and a lot of them are juried in so they're not just solo shows they're shows that anyone can enter and if your artwork is chosen then you get in the show which is great i could do a whole video and i probably will do a whole video on juried shows and exhibitions uh, i do like them a lot uh, they can be a little bit expensive because there's usually an entry fee with them so you you know unless you have a lot of expendable income to just enter all of them would be costly but still uh, again it's a whole video that to in and of itself so this place in cincinnati they have their schedule out for 24 and one of the shows kind of caught me which is the magnitude 7 show it's their 20th show and it's a small work show so that got me thinking what would be a great piece for that. I do have a bunch of small paintings that I could enter, but then I'm like, you know what? I want to start a new painting and why don't I do something specifically for that show? Now it's juried, so it, it's, you know, it might not get in, it might get in. That's not the point. It's this show, the idea of the show was able to spark the painting. So Manifest Gallery is on the north side of Cincinnati. And I thought I wanted to do a new cityscape painting this is what i usually do the cityscape paintings on for whatever reason i've chosen two and a half by four and a half so i knew that was the size and then i wanted a a, a good shot of cincinnati looking towards manifest which is kind of up in here on the north side and uh so i thought yeah, that's great and that it it came about by itself you know the show inspired the painting so if you're having trouble finding shows that you really like i'm going to I'm going to suggest a website called Cafe, and uh, their job is to kind of consolidate and put all the shows or a lot of the shows in one spot. So you can just kind of go through them and see which one matches what you do, and, and then that, that will really help you in, in finding a show. But again, I think that's a good jumping off point if you do want to start getting into jury shows. The other way to go is to visit the galleries that you normally run them like like I said, uh, Marge had just had a big piece and a big show uh, at Manifest, and that's how I found them. Uh, so if you visit them, you could see what they're all about, and you can see if your artwork kind of fits in, or even better, if they have a show that your artwork really fits into. For instance, we saw the uh, Momentum show, which was running alongside the Self show, which is the show that Marge was in. So Momentum was a great show. It's all about movement. So if you have pieces that, that express movement, this would have been a great show to kind of put in. If you're not, if your pieces aren't about whatever the topic is, you could look at something like this and, for instance, In Search of Blue. So it might inspire you to say, okay, I'm going to find something to paint that's blue and that's how I'm going to get in that show or that's what's going to inspire me to do that painting. Uh, so it's a really great way if you're really having trouble with that blank canvas syndrome right out of the gate. From there, like I said, getting into one of these jury shows is fantastic. Uh, it just helps in a lot of different ways, but uh, that's, a, that's a story for another video. All right, so I hope this video helped you out. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight on tackling that blank canvas syndrome, and I hope you uh, get inspired by it. All right, so if you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that like and subscribe, and also hit the notification button so you can get all the videos as they pop up. And if you are interested in seeing this particular painting come together, this painting is gonna be in the Open Studio playlist but it's the open studio playlist for the Patreon members. So if you're a Patreon member, you'll be able to kind of go along the entire journey of this painting with me. Uh, so thank you very much for all the Patreon members and uh, also for anyone who has signed up as a YouTube member as well. Love you guys too. All right, I'm Steve Leahy. This is Tech Tuesday and I will catch you next time.